Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math or and algebra problem. So here we have x to the power of y minus y equals to 77 and we solve this problem for the values of x and y and here you remember one thing is that our x and y belongs to n and this n means that this is the set of natural number. It means that we solve this problem for the natural values of x and y. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, uh, in order to move forward first we need to multiply and divide by 2 the exponent of these two terms. So it will be written as uh, x to the power of 2 by 2 and this is our y minus similarly here we multiply the exponent of this term also 2 by 2 equals to 77. And now here in the next step. Uh, uh, we write this term as uh, x to the power of 2 multiplied by y over 2 minus this is y to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 equals to 77. And here we need to move this y over 2 inside the term. So it will be written as x to the power of y over 2 and its whole square minus we write this term as y to the power of 1 over 2 and its whole square equals to 77 and here we can apply the nice algebraic formula you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this nice formula you see here the value of our a is x to the power of y over 2. The value of our b is y to the power of 1 over 2. So here we substitute these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this equation. So we will write uh, the output of the left hand side as x to the power of y over 2 minus y to the power of 1 over 2 times of x to the power of uh, y over 2 plus y to the power of 1 over 2 equals to 77 and now uh, you see that uh, in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so that first we need to make uh, the right hand side with the product of two natural numbers okay so here we find the factors of uh, uh, two natural factors of 77 so uh, the natural number the product of two natural number which gives us 77 are uh, uh, this is 11 times of 7 is uh, uh, 77 and 7 times of 11 is also 77 and 1 times of 77 is 77 and 77 times of 1 is also equals to 77. So here we have four possibilities and now we check that which of these four possibilities are suitable for our given condition. So here you see that uh, we know that uh, if x and y are two integers, uh, sorry two natural numbers then x minus y is always less than x plus y. Similarly, uh, we uh, see our above expression that x to the power of y over 2 minus y to the power of 1 over 2 is always less than x to the power of y over 2 plus y to the power of 1 over 2. So this inequality is always hold for the natural values of x and y. So uh, for this here we need do those pairs in which the first factor is less than the second factor so here you see that 11 is greater than 7 so we rejected this case here 7 is less than 11 so we accept this case here 1 is less than 77 we accept this case 77 is greater than 1 and we reject this case here we have these two possibilities so that now we make the two cases in which first we compare the left hand side with this case these two numbers and then we compare the left hand side with these two numbers okay so after comparing we have the two cases are uh, x to the power of y over 2 minus here we write y to the power 1 over 2 as y square root this is equals to 7 and uh, x to the power of y over 2 plus square root of y is equals to 11 and we call this is our case number 1. Similarly, our second case is that 
uh, we will take okay uh, so here we take x to the power of y over 2 minus square root of y is equals to 1 and x to the power of y over 2 plus square root of y equals to 77 and this is our case number 2 and now here we need to solve these two cases and we easily get the values of x and y so here first we need to uh, focus on case number 1 okay so that from 1 we have we will just copy down uh, case 1 here so we have first x to the power of y over 2 minus square root of y equals to 7 and x to the power of y over 2 plus square root of y equals to 11. So now here in this case uh, we need to so here first we add these two equations so when you add these two equations you see here this is negative and positive term are gone and we get here two terms of x to the power of y over 2 equals to 11 plus 7 equals to 18 and this implies that x to the power of y over 2 equals to 9 and we write this 9 as 3 square so when you compare both of the sides then we easily get the value of x equals to 3 and y over 2 equals to 2 so we get the first solution is x equals to 3 and y equals to 4 this is the first solution set which we get from uh, equation number 1 or from case number 1 and now here we need to focus on uh, second case from equation number 2 we copy down these two equations here x to the power of y over 2 minus square root of y equals to 1 and x to the power of y over 2 plus square root of y equals to 77. So now we have these two equations. So here first we subtract these two equations. So when you subtract these two equations, we obtain here this value is cancelled out by this value. And we get minus 2 times of square root of y equals to minus 76. So this implies that square root of y equals to uh, this will be written as 2 3s are 6 and 2 8s are 38 16. So we get square root of y equals to 38. So in order to find the value of y, we need to take the scaling on both of the sides. So we easily get uh, the square uh, root of uh, y square equals to 38 square. This two and square root are gone, and we get the value of y equals to 1444 so this is the value of y in this case uh, in the second case here we need to uh, find the value of x uh, so for this uh, we substitute this value of y uh, in any equation of case number two so we substitute this value of y here it will be written as uh, x to the power of y over 2 plus square root of y equals to 77 so we put this value of y here so we have uh, x to the power of y the value of y is 1044 divided by 2 plus this will be written as 1444 equals to 77 so this will be written as x to the power of 722 plus the square of this term equals to 38 equals to 77 and when we move 38 to the right hand side we get x to the power of 77 equals to 77 minus 38 equals to 39 so you get here this value is 39 so we easily get the value of x equals to 39 to the power of 1 over 7722. So you remember one thing is that in the start of the problem we say that we find the value of x for natural numbers. So this is not belongs to n. It means that uh, the second case cannot give us the natural value. So we have the final answer of this question is that these are the two values x equals to 3 and y equals to 4. So we have the final values of uh, uh, x and y are x equals to 3 and y equals to 4. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.